the mountains of Machu Picchu. A legendary strike force waits to be discovered. Can someone please explain to me what's going on with my little bridge hair? It's like where at the Incan Temple, Indiana Jones is hanging onto a hairlet, and he can literally swing across my forehead. What's up, boys, and welcome to the long-awaited 36 years in the making Peruvian World Cup squad in FIFA Episodia. Now, the reason we're doing this squad is not only have two new uh, Team of the Season players come out that are both a Peruvian, both in the same rest of the world Team of the Season release, was, release which was, I believe, 29 through 21, uh, but we also are obviously honoring the fact that Peru have made it and qualified. This obviously happened months ago for the World Cup for the first time in 36 years. So we're going to build a squad honoring them uh, and their success. Nick Nicknamed La Blanqui Roja or something like that, which means like the white and red. Obviously, that's the national team color. And then also called Los Incas, uh, which is obviously a reference to the Incan Empire, one of the greatest civilizations, um, one of the greatest civilizations to ever be in the world. And that was an ancient Peruvian thing. But today, it is all about the greatest technology that we have ever seen in the form of FIFA cards for Peru. And that is none other than 89 uh, Ruidas, who has himself the four star weak foot, four star skill moves, five seven, has some pretty Pretty insane stats. Obviously, these are team of the season cards, so they are super juiced. 98 stamina to go along with long shots, finishing, composure, anything that you want, agility, they have it. And then more importantly, though, or more notably, I think, Farfan is the better of the two. Now, not in terms of three uh, weak foot. He's got three star. Three star is a little bit shorter, but he is the one that has some pretty crazy stats. He's got the 89 strength. He's got the, uh, the 91 vision. And then if you're talking about finishing and then composure, he's got 90, 93, and then 98 shot power and 90 long shots. So the one thing we're going to be looking from for fun is to see how crazy the long shots actually are. Now those are two legends right there, but the most legendary player in all of Ultimate Team for Peru, I think arguably ever, I can't think of a player who's more uh, who's more historical. It is none other than this Köln Claudio Pizarro, the most capped player, one of the most capped players in Peruvian history, and then we have obviously surrounded him with some other players as well. We've got Aquino, we've got Advancula, who is a player a lot of people probably know from, um, uh, probably know from the uh, Mexican League is also a right back that's really, really fast. We've got Zambrano, who's got pretty decent stats. I don't want to say great stats for a 76. We've got Tells, just because... There is no left back. Also, there is not a keeper from Peru, which is why we're going with uh, with Yashin uh, because the World Cup is in Russia. So I can put those two together. And then also, there wasn't a really good center back option and there really wasn't another defensive-minded midfielder. So Tapia was the other choice, but he's silver. So I kind of want to make it competitive because we are in Division One, And these are obviously emotional pack pulls right there in the form of Baby Dino and then Baby Rio Ferdinand. We've got our boy Hurtado over there. Obviously, you would know him from Liga, uh, Liga Nos. He's got some pretty decent stats but really we are going to be relying on Ruidas and Farfan to score all the goals we're going to play a couple matches when you watch this epi I'm most likely going to be in Mexico let's try and crush something historic related to the Peruvian squad 36 years so let's try and crush 3,600 likes on this emotional Peruvian World Cup episode as well. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Now, I'm using, I'm wearing the Mexico kit, which is the closest nationality as a, uh, which is the closest nationality to Peru for kits that I own. And then we're also going to be rocking with the Peruvian national team kit, which looks pretty sweet. I'm going to be wearing the Peruvian kit in game, the Mexico kit right here, because it is the closest nationality to Peru that I have of the South American, Central American teams. He's got himself a 94 uh, Terra Stegosaurus Rex. He's got an 88 Joshua Kimmich, who in all likelihood, if, if it's the Bundesliga team of the season this weekend, is going to get himself an absolutely crazy card. He's got Aspas, he's got Guedes, and then I think that was Grease up top. He tripped on himself, man! Oh, it's outside the box. Okay, well, I mean, is he gonna make this? Can he put it past the hat? No, he does not. Wow, I thought that was maybe inside. Dude, Advent Calendar, come on! How has he not scored yet? Russian hat. He literally ran backwards. 
words! That guy's expression is basically me right now. What? For fun, dude. Okay, a little bit, a little bit of a cheap goal. A little bit of a cheap goal, but it's 1-1, and you t in Division 1, you take anything that you can get. We get our first goal with the, uh, Blanquia Roja. And we are... We gotta be really careful. This guy's literally... He's got ten times the opportunities we have. We gotta be very, very careful with how we play defense here. Woo! <laughs> really does! The pass from Farfan to, and there's nothing, look, there's nothing a manual player, like, if he took control of that center back, he just would have been lost. I just caught him, and it, it wasn't even by, wasn't even by, wasn't even intentional. But we just got him at the most vulnerable uh, position for a center back. I do not believe what I've just seen! <laughs> But for whatever reason, the Peruvian freaking Incan gods are in the sky right now. Are, are they in the sky? Pachacamac, the sun, rose slowly from Lake Titicaca. It's so cool. Yeah, nice. I never had that happen. That is yeah. super cool. Okay. You've got the Incan gods on your side. Think about that. What? His keeper couldn't even move! His keeper couldn't even move because Farfun placed it so perfectly off the top, uh, off the crossbar, off the type brand, uh, off the type brand. <laughs> That's 94 team of the season, Ter Stegen, not even making an effort. It hits the top crossbar so perfectly. Rui does, uh, Rui Diaz, and then Farfun, two and two. Are we gonna get one of, no, one of them to a hat trick in this first match? Hurtado, dude, Nelly Hurtado, bro, this is just... Advent Calendar? Dude, Advent Calendar has been incredible! Bro, who's that? Zambrano? Bro, Zambrano and Advent Calendar have been legitimately a match in heaven. I'm having the time of my life. 88th minute? Dude, the 88th minute is when you want to take a risk. Can we get one more? No, 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 no. We get a Division 1 win with the Ruidas and Farfad and Pizarro World Cup Peru squad. Uh, and we lock ourselves up a cheeky three points, 9.4, both equal. Couldn't have gotten off to a more emotional start. Rui Diaz and then Farfan uh, didn't manage to hit. We got a finesse, but we didn't manage to hit that, uh, that, um... That signature long shot that Farfan is known for. 10 shots, 6 on target. He outplayed me. I literally double the double the shots on target. And somehow, we were able to come away uh, with 3 points. Now, we're not going to go back into Division 1. I, I want to see if we can maybe link up with one of those Wayquarium bros in online singles. Because that's usually where I come up against you guys. So... We are going to apply our fitness. We're only going to get two matches in in this epi again. Uh, this is an epi that you're going to see while I'm away in Mexico. So I was uh, pressed for time and I really wanted to get this epi out. But we are, like I said, going to get into one more match. See if we can come up against a member of, the, uh, of this way aquarium. Let's get to match number two. Los Gates. This guy's name is Schweinwinder. So I'm hoping... I would like to think that because this guy's name is Schweinwinder that he is a member of this way aquarium. Um, but there may be a realistic chance. And why is it that only people in online singles get on the mic? Like, literally, there's no other game. Pachacamac, the sun, rose slowly from Lake Titicaca. Pachacamac was so bright. I thought my case of crippling diarrhea went away, and then the moment I saw this, you know, you know when you get, you know when you're, like, really, really sick, and, like, you sort of have diarrhea, and, like, you just try to just not, <laughs> you, know, you know when you try to not think of anything, and then you see something and it triggers it? And then, why, dude, why did it just... Why did it just say it was auto wall out attack? Bro, this has been a really, really weird day.
Dude, Pizarro is basically a statue. When the, once the ball hits him, you literally... It, it takes a full second for the reaction to hit. Ruidinho! <laughs> Ruidinho! Let's go! Come on! I was about to ask if they speak Spanish in Peru. What? Like, I know they do, but is it like, obviously it's a different dialect. Like, Argentinian Spanish, If I correct me if I'm wrong, but Argentinian Spanish almost sounds a little, like there's like a little bit of Italian or something? Or no? He can, he legitimately can score at any minute. Whenever he wants to score, he's gonna be able to. Like a bird, I only score when I play with Peru. You don't know where I'm going. Yeah, Sheen, if, 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 well, I was about to say if we had the Peruvian keeper, which is, okay, so there's a Peruvian keeper named Galesi or something like that, and he's in, he plays for Veracruz in League MX. And I know we discussed it like a couple months ago when we talked about doing the World Cup Epi for Peru, but why is he not in the game again? That is yeah. super cool. He gets the ball up the pitch so quickly. His players, dude, he's just got the player advantage. There's no, there's no question about it, boys. He's just got the player advantage. Three shots, three on target for me. Another match where I am just being outplayed. He's got the, uh, he's got the possession. He's got chances. The, the only thing, the, the only thing we have going for us right now is the fact that it's, uh, that it's level. So we're gonna get in the second half right here, and we're gonna try and concentrate, and we're gonna play the best Peruvian football that you've ever seen demonstrated in any match of Ultimate Team in history. Oh my, could you imagine the scenes if we had just buried that with Claudio Pizarro? Oh my god, that's it! That was the far fun ripper that we were waiting for, bro! I knew I knew to take it. I, I knew that I, I had options with Rui Diaz, but far fun on David freaking De Gea. In in many ways, he stood no chance. Rui Diaz! They're making De Gea look like a silver keeper! The combo of Farfad and Rui Diaz are making him legitimately look like a silver keeper. We get three points in division number one. Uh, we almost get the hat trick with uh, Rui Diaz and Farfan, and then PK was just not up to the task. The agility of the Rui Diaz. <sighs> Absolutely insane partnership right there. Bro, I love these cards. Game over. And that's all she wrote. 5-2. That's gonna be it, boys. Started off slow. Looked like we were literally gonna get our nuts separated out of, out of our sack. Um, and then Farfan and Rydiaz just come to the rescue. And we do it against not just any team. But we do it against Team of the Season PK. A bunch of Team of the Season Liga Santander players. And I believe Team of the Year David De Gea. Even if it's the regular 91 or 92. That's still an incredible, incredible achievement. Peru has come to play... And he was, uh, wait, is he off? Farfan's long shot, it just seems like it's some sort of genetically modified Russian Spartak whatever, um,
freaking leg. Farfan does it, Rui Diaz does it, they both come to play an incredible, incredible national team of the season duo, um, Episodia, 9.5 for Rui Diaz, he gets himself two assists and then two goals, so four goal contributions in a match where we scored five, incredible, incredible player. That is gonna do it for the Peruvian duo, the 36 years, uh, the 36 year Peru World Cup tribute Episodia. If you guys are from Peru, if you guys are from South America, if you guys just support small teams that have made it in the World Cup, this Episodia is for you. If you guys did enjoy the epi, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. These guys are cheap enough, 50, 60,000 coins. You need to go and try them out. Maybe link them up with Pizarro or an Icon or whatever squad you're able to put together. Uh, they're in some decent leagues, Liga MX and then the Russian League respectively. But anyway, boys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.